Coffee grows wild in Ethiopia on thousands of hectares of forest that have global significance because they sequester high amounts of carbon, promote biodiversity and provide the genetic base for over 100 species of high-quality Arabica coffee. Situated in southwestern Ethiopia, the Yayu Coffee Forest Biosphere Reserve is one of the last remaining forests with wild coffee species, most notably Arabica, and plays an important role in the conservation of forest coffee growing traditions. Among all coffee forests in Ethiopia, the Yayu Forest has the highest coffee genetic diversity and unique coffee gene pool. Afro-mountain rainforests that they are found at a high altitude in Ethiopia. And they are also very diverse in, in, in plant species, as well as the, the genetic diversity of Arabica coffee, the wild Arabica coffee. Sadly, Ethiopia is losing its forests, largely due to agricultural expansion and demand for fuelwood from local communities. But coffee-growing forests have remained largely intact due to their economic and cultural importance. The Ethiopian Wild Coffee Project, with support from Partnerships for Forests, is catalyzing the transformation of the forest coffee industry in Ethiopia by improving how coffee is processed and ensuring the environmental value of the forest-friendly coffee is communicated to the wider industry. Partnerships for Forests is helping to build a robust, sustainable and traceable supply chain for Ethiopian forest coffee, as well as supporting the development of premium forest coffee brands that are marketable globally. The market for speciality coffee is growing and it's the fastest growing segment of the whole coffee world. As customers and consumers get more aware and they sort of try different brands and qualities of coffee in the grocery store or from their local retailers or roasters, there is a desire to explore more. One of the serious concerns of the project is protecting the natural forest. There are PFMs or participatory forest management cooperatives and the project is working with them in order to sustainably protect uh, the natural forest using, the, using implementing their forest management plan. So in general, this project is working to protect the natural forest, to improve the livelihood of uh, the community and to contribute for the climate change of uh, the world. There are, I think, 25 or so cooperatives within the Partnership for Forest Initial Programme. And all of those cooperatives, small, medium and large, have potential to export coffee to the, the, the consuming countries. Uh, since Union was founded in 2001, the number of small roasters in most countries around the world has just exploded. And all of these roasters are looking for something a little unique, something a little different.
akametti buna keenya buna bosona kana kunu sine ye faccu akkanu qamnu nu barsi se kayetiyu gaba monu barbaad amma degesenu goda mi kana ra kan kaye walde an keenya ci meeda abate ego kunu sot fayadamu wanjira ummate gabarte bodde sirrit bosona sa sege akuma dur adan alti jirut mirgi sa sege me itti fayada ma jiraacha so ni mufa idan ni jiru ba yesa duri bun bursa nan bekamu bun bursa na gaba sinkabu amma garu bun bursa ma bekame bun bursa na kenya ala gaba tidi sunu yu sar kagari sar gato kofa baye teti agar sisa jira gar gar sa meshali adda das nu gar gare lenji nu kenne nu lenji se buna kana kamit qabacho kakam nu egan barsi se bodde ofisati mo gaba nu barbade gaba an nu barbade gurgura chu kenya ra kan kai gati gurguda arganne bua gudda birri miliyana lakkam arganne wagga wagga dan etti fayyada majira kan ra kan kai bua buna bosanas barre misensi simmo yero da ga yero otti umma ni biya kana kese jiratu walda qonna marawu tate kana dabalame bua argamu kan arge misensi gara kana ti siyaynan u fajira by the end of the first phase the project had exported over 3000 metric tons of forest coffee improved livelihoods and secured strong buy-in from the government of Ethiopia through a partnership with the Ethiopian Coffee and Tea Authority. I think something new, something different is always what people want maybe more so than ever now we get seem to get jaded very quickly um, and want the next thing so lots areas such as yayu where you've got a large number of primary producer cooperatives that just need that help in getting the quality management in place get the stories in place and then the ability to export and connect that's really what will help drive it i think the market is there but it just needs help in connecting. For Ethiopia, if we use the genetic resource to improve coffee quality, to get the, develop varieties that are tolerant to disease and pests and uh, also resilient to climate changes, we can actually generate, we can save up to six billion US dollars for, for Ethiopian economy and loan. And if we share that with the world, then the, the coffee growing industries can use also for the same purpose and get up to 8 billion US dollars. The future is bright for the Ethiopian forest coffee industry with bigger transformation expected. But there is increased need for sustainable coffee production across the more traditional coffee growing supply chains as well. Partnerships for Forests is working to tap into this impending transformation by replicating its successful models in other East African countries, working with experienced partners who are keen on incorporating regenerative agricultural practices such as agroforestry into their supply chains. This provides a unique opportunity for sector-wide transformation on climate change mitigation as well as significant livelihood improvements. <laughs>